Welcome to Chewing the Cud. We are back again with your weekly roundup of showbiz news, chuckles from the internet, and of course, our life lesson. Now we take a look over to the shiny side of the room as we say hello to the effervescent elf, the sublime sparkle that is Lee. Thank you. I'm channeling my inner refresher today. Your inner refresher? Mm. Mm. As in the sweets rather than... Yeah. The, you know, sexual thing. Uh, I'm back with some salacious showbiz news, including a story about what you can be reading book-wise during lockdown. And I've got some bits you may have intentionally bypassed from the internet, including how not to try and pass your driving test. If you want to keep up with our latest doings and goings, you can always find us at The Could TV on your social media services. That's not including Grindr. Our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us doing your thang about your life, just search for Chewing the Cud on our podcast service. And if you have commented, shared, or clicked like on one of our social media platforms, then your name could be sliding across the screen now. We have decided to wipe the slate clean this week, Mike. And who is this we exactly? My we, and I have decided that we're going to play the... Game of the Week. This week, the producer is a little down in the dumps because he usually helps out at the hot meat and stuffing stall at the local Christmas market, which of course has been abandoned this year. He says his favorite part was at the end when he often came away with his fill of German sausage or a ham shank. Last year, they held a spit roast and he ended up with a pork hock. So to cheer him up, he's asked us to identify these songs from the backward lyrics. Now we're gonna need a noisemaker to interrupt. Have you brought your no, noise maker? No, I completely forgot. You've not brought your noise maker? No, but I have my own body. You have your own body? Yeah, that can make noises. Have you eaten a lot of cheese? I haven't eaten a lot of cheese, but mm. I'm gonna go with this noise. Right, okay. That's what do you think? A, that's a choice. Yeah. That's a choice. I'm gonna go with that. I have things to make noise with. Have you? I have got Christmas crackers. <laughs> That's great. Because not only will they make a noise, but every time I, I pull one, I win a prize. Do you? So even if I don't win the quiz, I'm going to win every time I answer a question. Okay. Let's go. Let's go for the first, Let's first go for thing. The first one. Going to get my cheeks ready. So mean and strong and tough. <laughs> and, oh. Um. I'm gonna go with, oh, that hurts. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with um, It's Raining Men. You're going with it, It's Raining Men? By the Weather Girls. Okay, shall we see? Yeah. Yes. Well done, you. Fist grab. Air grab. <laughs> Fist grab is something Fist grab is different. something completely different than an air grab. <laughs> okay, let's, I think I might win this week. Do you think, you think so? Unless my cheeks just completely slide <laughs> off the bone, which is highly likely. See, the fun thing is you're going to try and make that noise while reading out the slide, because it's your turn to read out the slide. Oh, it is, yeah, sorry, yeah. It do can you know you I'm doing it that because it's annoying. You flow the with go. Go with the flow. Flow the with go. Is this making any sense? Body your legs. Oh, yeah. I've got it. Oh It's Vogue by Madonna. Oh I think you're right. Let's have a look. It is indeed. Oh uh, yeah. It felt like I was having a stroke reading that out, <laughs> yeah. to be honest with you. It sounded like it. Oh, I've got a little <laughs> pack of playing cards as well. Oh. How exciting. But when yeah. you want to pretend to be a giant. Yes. And a lovely little hat. Oh. That's, a, that's stuck together. Have you been in this cracker? <laughs> no. It's, it's now, it's, it's a bit gluey. There we go. It's not Christmas though, is it, Mike? There we go. Huh? It's not Christmas. And? Are those other coloured hats like the equivalent of like the colours in handkerchiefs from from like gayness? I don't know. What does red mean? Should, should we ask the should we ask the producer? I think we might need to ask. Hello. No, I'm not I'm not doing that again. That's rude. 
I've had that conversation before. Um, in the hanky code, what does the um, red one mean? Is I like eating lots of strawberries? Oh, okay. Oh. That's that's different. That will explain the, the the nickname Strawberry Shortcake. It would indeed. Yeah. I've just hung up on him and didn't say goodbye then. Never mind. So it's fine. Gets him off. Um, Should we get the next one? Yeah, up let's get the next one up. You, there's, crowd, the, in, somewhere, cause, do, always, I, like, blue, feel, won't, I, but, me, blind, gonna, are, beans, <gasps> true. <laughs> I think uh -huh. it is ABBA. Uh huh. From Super Trooper. Shall we have a look? Let's have a look. Woo! It is indeed. All done, you. Mm hmm. Are That's you regretting not bringing the noise maker? Yeah, because my cheeks are quite <laughs> sore now. You know when I said use your car keys, and he said, "No, I'll no, just use my face. I'll just use yeah. my face." There's a lot of it. Um, mm. Okay, let's let's have another one, and I've got to say it out loud. Let's go for it. It hide. Cannot just I and face my of from front in right right in front right me to happen happen I'm making the words up as before they even has it finally it, it describe count feelings. Uh, I'm singing it in my head, my face, my of, front, in. This is messing with my head. Write me to happen. Happen to me when a friend of my has fine. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> um, <laughs> Finally, it has happened to me right in yeah. front of my face. My feelings can describe it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I one. Think, I think it was that one as well. <laughs> yeah. Finally, by C.C. Peniston. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Let's see. You do I've... get that I'm not even guessing now, right? <laughs> just to, just to I, think... Your face. <laughs> I think I found my niche in life uh -huh. with this. Yeah. yeah. It helps that you stop reading and start singing. <laughs> singing backwards. Yeah. I'm going to go on Britain's Got Talent with this. It, I'm going to be the winner. Sing and everybody up get. Uh? Everybody get up by five. I don't think it is. I think it's by Sister Sledge. We are family. Yes, <laughs> it is. Yes, <laughs> oh, it is. Woo! But let's see what. Uh, let's see, I've, I've won. Oh, I've won a, a colouring in thing. So I get to colour in a Christmas tree. Did you get those from the Christmas shop of disappointment? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> but I also have a blue hat now. Oh, That's a blue, blue hat. hat. What does that mean in the world of the. Homosexual. I don't know, but also this is stuck together quite a lot too. It's got a tiny little ring, hasn't it? Let's see. I can't fit two on my head. There we go. Oh. Shall we, shall we Let's find, find out. out. Let's find out what blue means. Hello. No, no, no it's not that kind of phone call. What does blue mean in the in the hanky code? Is I like doing things with blueberries. <gasps> oh, or to other people. Oh, okay. Oh. Thank you very much. Like the Ribena berry. Yes, but with blueberries. With, with blueberries. With blue yeah. Because yeah. that would make more sense. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. why it's blue. Yeah. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Uh, yeah. I do believe I am winning though at the moment. You are, yeah. 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 Lovers. The. Uh, Oh! Ah! No, that wasn't the noise. <laughs> That's all the lovers by Kylie Minogue. Not happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. oh, disappointed. Oh, and I've won. <laughs> and I've won some sort of calculator magic thing. Oh, and okay. another blue hat. And another blue hat. Which well, means we already I like a know lot of, a lot of blueberries. Mm. 
Double blue. Double blue. Like a double rainbow, isn't it? I'm going to take the hats off now. Yes. Because it's <laughs> getting a bit top heavy. I'm, I um, think all the winning just overcame I, I me then. I think we I'm know sorry. what the score is, but yeah. should we check anyway? Yeah, let's, let's do it. It's 5 2 to Lee. Ah! Oh. <laughs> well, I have also won a, a selection of things. Yeah, you've won a selection of crap. Um, yeah, but I also don't have sore cheeks. No, you don't. Well, not the ones on your face. Still to come, we are bringing you the next of our wonderful life lessons. And just after the break, it's Lee with the showbiz. Welcome back to Stewing the Cud. And now we converse with the convivial cavalcade that is Lee and the showbiz news. That's a lot of C's. It is a lot of C's. I, all I, the C's. It, all the C's I could muster. Oh. Just for you. So, it's coming up to that time of year mm. where the celebrities need to earn a coin. For Just Christmas. one. Well, a couple of coins. A couple of coins. Okay. Um, so what they're doing is they're getting their books ready to release to the public. They're releasing things to the public. Mm. Do you remember what books were? Are? Yeah, I know, I know what a book is. Yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's those things you put under tables to make them level. Yeah, yeah. So I've got a selection of upcoming celebrity books that I thought might be quite worth having a little bit of a chat about. Oh, okay. So, the first celebrity that is releasing a book mm. is um, the lead singer from a band that we have spoken about previously. Meat in Love. Other episodes. No, not Meat Love. Um, Skunk and Nancy. Oh, yes, Skunk and Nancy. Mm. Do you know, do you recall Skunk and Nancy? I, I do. Weak oh. as I am. Yes. Yes. Mm. I've been biding my time. Yes. I love that song. It's very stalkery. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the lead singer is called Skin. She is indeed. And we've got a picture of her book here, and it's going to be called um, um, It Takes Blood and Guts. Okay. And it's all about is it her... a recipe book? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get a pint of blood, <laughs> bowl of guts, and you mix it all together, and you uh, make a lovely cake. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> she is releasing her... It's, it's all about kind of her journey as a black LGBTQ woman in the music industry. Okay. Um, and it... it I, I, I'm not a really a rock person. I didn't really do rock music, but I like Skunk and Nancy because yeah. they were quite melodic. That's a word, isn't it? It is, it is yeah. a word, yeah. Um, Maybe not so, the right word. <laughs> and the white ribbon, yeah, yeah. So she's saying that it's the difficult thing being a lead singer of a rock band um, and looking like her. Because mm. um, she's quite, you know, she had, a, she had a look, didn't she? She, you know, she was very distinctive. Yes. And it's all about her drive um, and how she... She achieved what she achieved. She's now kind of moved away from the like rock music, and she's a she's a techno DJ. Oh, techno, 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 techno. techno. Mm. Is that how yeah. they do that? Yeah, with the hand action. Techno, techno, techno. Okay. I'm just referencing Two Unlimited, the only song that I know. <laughs> da, 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 da. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's <laughs> that's her book. So I, I recommend. <laughs> That one. Okay. Yeah. The next book that we've got is one of your favourite celebrities. I know it's one of your favourite celebrities. It is Mariah Carey. Oh. And it is, it is her book, The Meaning of Mariah Carey. Is we've it a colouring in book? We've got, look, look, look she's so beautiful. She's got, a, she's got a weave in. She's got the wind blowing. She's got a Photoshop licence. Yeah, yeah. So it's all about her life. Um, so this... <laughs> This is Who's Michaela Angela Davis? Well, you see, celebrities uh -huh. Can't read don't write. tend to kind of have the skills to write a complete book by themselves. Okay. So they often have a collaborator. To Ghostwriter. To, yeah. So they will sit down and go, so it happened like this, and then this happened, and then I did this. And then the writer goes, on the 13th of July, to her, blah, 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 and puts proper words in it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so that's who the other name is. So what she is saying about her book is, it took me a lifetime to have the courage and the clarity to write my memoir. I want to tell you the story of the moments, the ups and downs, the triumphs and traumas, the debacles and the dreams that contributed to the person that I am today. So it's going to be quite light-hearted um, and not self-absorbed in any stretch of the imagination. I, I, it's probably a colouring-in book. 
It probably is. I mean, to be fair, she doesn't really need a coin at the moment because we are coming up to Christmas and she becomes Christmas Mariah, doesn't she? She does. It's already in the charts. Oh, already? Yeah, oh, in America. Yeah. You can already listen to All I Want for Christmas is with two front teeth or whatever mm, it is. Yeah. yeah. I have a feeling this book will be very popular with the homosexual gentleman. Is it, is it good for levelling tables? <laughs> Nearly said it's good for this thing, um, but I'm not going down that route. <laughs> Run it up some of this house. Yeah, so if, if you're a Mariah fan or not, um, get, get, pop down to your local WH Smiths. Do they still exist? Yes, they do. John Menzies has gone there, hasn't it? John Menzies has gone. Yeah. Been. yeah. Um, <laughs> Happy to Woolies. Ooh. Grab it for Woolies or Ooh. CNA. Oh. Next book we've got Philip Schofield. Mm. Life is what you make it. Okay. So, so it's all sorry. It's from his idyllic childhood in Cornwall. Okay. Where he pestered the BBC for a job. You thought I was going to say something that pestered other. But no, where he pestered the BBC for a job. <laughs> I saw it in his eyes. I know it. I saw it his, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, and because people didn't know that he before he was in television, he used to write letters and letters and letters to the BBC asking for a job, which mm -hmm. resulted in him sticking his hand up a gopher. <laughs> Yeah, or being a children's TV presenter, which is kind of interchangeable. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's an, all about that. It's all about going live and him being. I for, I'd forgotten that he was in Joseph in the Amazing Technical the Dream Code. Had you? I forgot that he was in Joseph. Oh. I hadn't. I went to see him. <clears throat> Still haunts my nightmares. Oh, okay. Um, and then going on to this morning mm -hmm. and, and all that kind of stuff. So he says, "I'm going to take you behind the scenes." <laughs> 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 There's a story. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't think he thought about that, I don't did he? I think he did. No. I'm going to take you behind the scenes of my television uh, home. Okay. Uh, my career into the dangerously funny relationship with Holly Willoughby. What's a dangerously funny relationship? What's um, that all it, about? It's where you need to pee, but you're laughing. Oh, okay. It's a bit like a danger wank, but when you need to pee. What's a danger wank? Danger wank. It's starting to have a wank and shout at your mum. It's starting to have a wank and then you shout for your mum. <laughs> yeah. So it's obviously a teenage thing. You, don't, you can't do it now when you're living alone. Um, but it is starting and they're going, Mum! And then seeing if you can finish before she comes in the room. Who hurt you as a child? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't do it. You didn't do it, no. but you know about it. I know about it. Oh! You said, if you know about danger wank, tag Lee in on his social media. Please do. Screen, right, and say, <laughs> me too, I've done a danger wank. You see, now all I've got in my head now is a theme tune of Danger Mouse, but Danger Wank. <laughs> danger <laughs> Wank. <laughs> da -da -da -da, danger Wank. Little <laughs> Danger Wank. <laughs> oh, Phil, I hope your book sells well. Um, <laughs> it will after that endorsement. <laughs> So, yeah, there's nothing else really to say about that now after that conversation. Um, so, I, I assume he will be covering the topic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming he will be talking in the book about him coming out mm. in sexuality. So that, so, that is imminently due out. And then our last book mm -hmm. is, is from a um, stalwart of, of celebrity. You They've been get, around for like... ice for that now. A little pen to get rid of warts. Burns that though, doesn't it? it? Burns, yeah. mm. um, anyway, so really saying something, Sarah and Karen are Banana Rama story. Oh, there's a three in Banana Rama though. No, the, well, there was originally, right. but then they kind of got rid of one of them, didn't they? And then they got another one, and they got rid of her. So they've just been two of them for like so, years. So really, they should be called the Banana Splits. Can we just go back to talking about Danger Wank? So the Banana Rama is about their, their fame, their music, their lifetime friendship. Now, I really want to read this because they are, for people that don't know, the two girls out of Banana Rama were the original inspiration mm. for Absolutely Fabulous. Mm -hmm. So um, Jennifer Saunders went on a night out with Banana Rama and could not believe what was happening with the amount that they drank and mm -hmm. the kind of antics and stuff. So she based them on. Um, Sarah and Karen from, from Banana Rama. Banana Rama. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's going so well today. Um, so there's loads of stories. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going for the um, spoken word version where they actually tell it. The spoken word version. Spoken word version. Not the audio book. The audio book, <laughs> the indeed. Audio yes. book. You're going for the spoken word version. <laughs> 
What am I being danger wanker? Yeah. Um... <laughs> You'd be sorted with this idea. Oh, I am. I'm obsessed with it now. So, yeah. Um, next bit of celebrity news. Mm -hmm. Celebrity painters. Okay. Yeah. Did you know that Ed Sheeran can paint? Like walls and stuff. Like, he can come in and do the decorating, because I've got my skirting boards and he's doing. Not only can he paint musical poems with his words. Okay. That's what I did there. Yeah. But he can also paint pictures. We've got a picture of him painting a picture in his house. No, he's just splattering paint there. I'm slightly worried about his house, because look, you think he's a multi-millionaire. Mm -hmm. It looks like he's in a squat. What is going on there? So, so he has painted this picture. Mm. We've got a picture of the actual final thing. Okay. Um, so let's, let's l lob that up. It's beautiful. Um, that looks like a load of old pollocks to me. Oh, see what you did there. Yeah. So um, he has called this dab too. I presume dab because he dabs with dabs with. <laughs> oh dear. He does what? Sorry. He pe dabs with paint. Dabs with paint. And that's going to be auctioned for charity. Okay. Right. So he, he's going to be over a canvas doing this and giving it to charity. He's already done it. And thank God that is the end of the showbiz news for this week. I'm off for a danger wank. Thank you, Lee. Mom! And while his mum bursts through the studio doors, don't go anywhere, because coming soon we have the next of our life lessons. Don't go anywhere, because next we have some messages from people who aren't even our sponsors. But then it's Mike with the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time to talk to the person who is a love child of Captain Picard and a wig. Make it fro. It's Mike in the buzz. That's funny, wasn't it? Don't get it. Captain Picard uh -huh. makes sweet, sweet love yeah. with a hairpiece. Uh -huh. You are the result. Right. His catchphrase is make it so. Right. But make it fro, because fro is like a big hairdo. Right. Make it fro. Uh -uh. Um, yeah, so moving on quite swiftly. Um, there's been a lot of things I found on the internet this week. Okay, now some of them are earth shattering newsly. Even more shattering than that joke. E even worse than that joke. Oh, God. These are things that you, you find out you've been doing things wrong all your life. Oh, How do you eat a pie? How do I eat a pie? Um, I usually dislocate my jaw so wide that I can just mm. chuck it down and you hear it splash. In just, the just literally hang right into it. No, I eat with a knife and fork because I'm proper cultural, okay. isn't I? Right. Did you know that there's actually a, a new way of eating a pie? No. Right. And it's called the deconstructed method. Okay. Okay. Now, what you're supposed to be doing at this point is not just diving in with a knife and fork. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be peeling off the lid. Okay. And then eating the middle out with a spoon. With a spoon? With a spoon. Who, who has made this up? Who Australians. Oh. Okay. Right. Australians have come out. Now, these are a, a group of people that put tomato ketchup inside their pie. Mmm. I like that idea. <laughs> You're on board now, aren't you? I am on board with that. Right. How, how bland must your pie be, though, because you need to add ketchup to it? It should, it's already got gravy in it, which is, as we know, the, the ambrosia of the gods. Mm, sometimes you just need a little bit of extra flavour. <laughs> a little bit of extra flavour in your pie? Yeah. Like, like tomato ketchup? Yeah. Yeah. Brown sauce? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not distinct, you know, whatever kind of sauce you want to put in your pie. Any kind of sauce. Any kind of sauce. Man sauce. <laughs> We've got daddy sauce being shouted down our ear. God's own baby batter. No, not that kind of. <laughs> I'm not advocating that you have sex with a pie. Because <laughs> uh, it would be hot. Yes. And cause birds. Mm. Use a cold pie or maybe a yeah. pasty. For that so yummy, you know salty goodness. Um, so, yeah, so where are we going with this? <laughs> I was talking about pies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, um, sorry, and there's the famous as the, the pie bomb. <laughs> That is, a, that is a delicacy. That is a delicacy. Mm -hmm. And for those people that don't know what that is, that's where you get a pie and put it in the middle of a bread roll. Mm. Because that's carbs, carbs, carbs. Mm. But yeah, apparently a deconstructed pie is taking the internet by great storm. 
You know, is it like a hipster thing? No, no, it's a, it's just an easier way of eating a pie. So especially if you're outside. Yeah, if you bite into a pie, you're going to end up with gravy down your chin and stuff. So it's like, a, like you're using it as a bowl. Yeah, so yeah, you take the top off, eat, 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 and then eat the pastry afterwards. Okay. So yeah, I'm more on board with that now. It's not a hipster thing. <sighs> no. Because if you eat all the inside, then you're just left with pastry. But it, pastry is covered in gravy. You say it is. I might have sucked it all off by then, just less with a dry husk. <laughs> well, moving quickly on from that. Uh, uh, we found recent news about a couple that have told people how they get through their job. OK. OK. Um, now, this, this couple have shared that they make bespoke porn videos. Ooh. OK. And they get some bizarre requests. Uh, oh, they're a good-looking couple, aren't they? <laughs> yes, they are. Um, What's their number? So this is Dan and Rhiannon. <laughs> OK. OK. And basically, whatever you ask them to do, with, with as long as it's not causing harm to anybody else, they'll pretty much do. OK. Um, so what do you think are some of the weirdest things they've ever been asked to do? <sighs> um, go outside an old people's home and have... Just danger wanks one after the other shouting grandma, granddad. <laughs> They'd have to shout very loud. Yeah. yeah. Um, th things with animals, things with kitchen, kitchen utensils. utensils. Okay. Well, one of the most expensive um, was called The Bride. Okay. And had a cast of 25 people. Real people? Re other people. Okay. Right. And cost over $30,000. Okay. Okay, I, I literally it was a, a, a bridal party and a wedding, and then they just uh, did it turn into like an orgy? It. No, they just had at it with the people watching. Oh, well, that's fairly tame, isn't it? Really, <laughs> I like that. Oh, not an orgy. Oh, god, not an orgy. Oh, they just did it in front of people. That's well, fine. Uh, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna make a bespoke porn film. You know, if you're going to spend that amount of money, go for it. You know, get everybody having the kit off. Turn it into like a like like something from a depraved Fellini film. Um, you know, you've got to think outside of the box, people. So things like um, a disembodied demon that tells people that <laughs> tells a scientist that they've corrupted his cum, that sort of thing. Okay. That's another one of their. And then requests. so one of them played the demon. Yeah. And the other one played the spunk receiver. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So they, they get through a lot. <laughs> yeah, including about being covered in gunge and oh. all the all the normal stuff okay. that people get rest to do. do. They make a good living at this. They make a very good living out of this. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Um, another story that we've got is about recycling and thinking about food waste. Mm -hmm. Okay. Especially when we've got all those people that have, you know panic bought things like toilet paper and bread, and then things go off. Well, this ingenious student has come up with his own brewing company that's using discarded supermarket bread to brew beer. Oh, OK. OK. Um, so the idea is he, he gets this bread that they can't sell, mm -hmm. yeah, he smushes it up, ferments it into beer. Because okay. the ingredients for bread are the same as for beer. Really? Did you not know this? I, I'm aware of the yeast factor. Yeah, so yeast and, and barley and malts and things. OK. Smush it all together. Okay. It's like if you over ferment, over proof bread, it, it starts to ferment. Mm, it's boozy. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he started to make booze for it, with it. Okay. Which I thought was a, a very ingenious way of, of dealing with a food waste problem. So he's making hooch out of mouldy bread. He's ma not not mouldy, old bread. Old. Is there a difference? Yes. Okay. Mouldy bread's got like mould growing on it. Uh -huh. Old, you just can't really sell. Oh, okay. Right, so you just smash it up. It's, it's a very like prohibition men. chic, isn't it, though? It is very prohibition chic. I'm mm. all for home brewing myself. Are you? I am. Yes, I do brew, brew my own cider. Do you? It's from apples. You can make vodka out of um, potatoes. You can indeed, um, but you would need a licence to distill. Would you? You would, yes. So. Not in prison, you don't. It's slightly different in prison. You're already there, really, you know, breaking the law already. Yeah. So. What are they going to do? Yeah, what are they going to do? Lock you up for longer? Yeah, um, for yes, longer. that would probably oh, what would happen. Okay. Um, so, yeah. And if something makes you snort, titter or giggle, why not share it with us? Just give us a cheeky tag mention using at the Could TV on all your social media platforms. Or send us an email. Our inbox is waiting for you to fill it. Go on. You know you want to stick it in. Make us smile.
And that brings us to the story of the week. Okay. Now, we've both done our driving tests. Allegedly. Yeah? Um, well, you've got a licence. <laughs> um, yes. Now, I know when I did it, it was a computerised theory. Yeah, when you did it, you had to work out how to parallel park a horse. Yes. Um, but did you, you manage to pass it first time? No. On theory? No. No? You didn't pass oh, you theory? see, I didn't have to... Do, I went back in the day, yeah. when I did my test, we didn't have a written the theory thing. All right. We did your, t you did your test, your physical test, your physical test. <laughs> it's um, a very and different kind of thing. <laughs> and then when you got back, you had... They asked you questions sat in the car. Oh, right. Mm. Like, what is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? Yeah, that kind of stuff. That sort of thing. Yeah. Um, well, something not to do, people, uh, is to get someone else to do the test for you. Oh. As a bodybuilder has been jailed for sending a lookalike to take his driving theory test. Okay. Okay. Um, so that's the gentleman there. He swore. He, he, I did say bodybuilder. Mm. Yeah. Um, he's a very, very muscular young man. Yeah, he's like a bull. Yes. Uh, not only did he send one look at Likey to do his theory test for him, he sent two. OK. On different occasions, because the first time he was caught, and he said, no, 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 go on, off with you. Did he, like, send a dwarf? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, it was obvious because they had a, a Bluetooth earpiece in. Oh, OK. So he yeah. didn't particularly look like him. It looks a little bit like him, who's tall oh. and muscular. Okay. Um, is this one of your fantasies? It's not, no. Cool. He's done this twice, and so he got sent down. Down! got sent down. Okay. Being naughty. Because it's actually legal to get someone else to do your test for you. Just do it yourself. Just do Exactly. It's not busy, that difficult. Is it, was he just too busy doing tries and buys and he kept that kind of stuff? It. Oh. And so he was like, oh, stuff, I'll send someone else to do it for me. It's not a well thought through plan. It's not plan, a well thought it? through plan. Um, no, and uh, he's currently. Shall, shall we say an all-inclusive bed and breakfast location where he can't leave? Oh, so. I mean, all he should, have, all he could have done was was distract them by like going, hur, hur. or just learn how to read. Or signs learn how to read. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been easier. Just put your brake on. It's They're not... doing like a peck dance. Do, yeah. I can't do that. I, I can do that. Can you? Can you yeah. make a peck dance? You just can't tell under the shirt. There's nothing's always. happening. No, you just can't tell under the shirt. That's all. And that's all from the buzz this week. Well, thanks, Mike. I, I feel strangely full um, of, of information. Yeah. After the break, it's our life lesson. <laughs> Welcome back. Like the difference between the sexy times, one will make your day, but this will make your whole week. It's our... Life Lessons. Have you ever heard of an artist called Nathan Wyburn? Nathan? Yeah, Nathan. Nathan, Nathan. Nathan Wyburn. No, no. 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 Okay. He's a Welsh artist. Okay. Um, and he doesn't just use paint. In fact, he doesn't oh. use any paint. Oh, okay. No. He uses everyday things. Right. Okay. So we, we've got a picture here of of some of his work. So he made pictures of like classic films mm. on pizzas. Okay. Using pizza stuff. Amazing. Oh, yeah. So we're going to have a go at that today. Okay. Creating something unique and artistic um, using. Well, you're going to use coffee. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to use tomato sauce. All right. Yeah. Okay. Now, we're not just going to do any old painting. No, no. All right, okay. No. We have asked our lovely viewers mm. for some ideas about what they would like to see us paint on a canvas. Okay. So in front of us, you have a, oh, in front of you and in front of me, we have a selection of envelopes. We do, yes. Yeah. And um, in each of those envelopes is a suggestion for a picture that one of our viewers has asked us to do. Ooh. Can't do them all. We're not, we know, we're not, we're not, you know. So, just choose one at random. Choose one at random. Yeah. I'm, I'm always drawn to the middle. Yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'm going to go for that one. Now, I don't know how you want to go about this. Do you want to, you want to paint it and reveal it at the end, or do you want to tell, sort of say what it is that you're painting? I think we should read it, paint, and then describe. Okay. All right. So I've got, um, from Paul Linda James. And I have got Jason Hood. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I can go with this. Coincidentally, mm -hmm. you, by the side of you, will have a, a, a canvas. 
Oh, yes, I do. Oh, a virgin canvas that we are soon going to desecrate. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, I would probably give your, your coffee juice a shake. I'm going to give it a swirl. Yeah. Yeah, um, just to kind of mix it together. Um, and then take the lid off it. And, ooh. Oh, it's very, very firm. Oh. Um, oh, that's been in there a while. Oh. So, yeah, you use it, you use it like paint. Okay. And just, you know, let the artistic, let the, let the artistic vibes fill you up. Okay, I shall let it fill me up. Okay. Okay. And, and yeah, so are we giving ourselves a time limit? Six minutes. Six minutes. Okay. Yeah. Starting now. Okay. But we can't give each other clues about what we're doing. Now, you see, part of mine has to be how I how I do this. Uh, what do you mean, how so, you do this? So I, I need to just, just, just pop a happy little line. Okay. A happy little line. Who's that? There we go. It'll all be revealed. No, um, who, who are you um, modelling that no, one? No, no, I have to just keep doing that. Oh, right, okay. It so it's, not like, it's not like a famous, like, Bob Ross. It might be. Oh, okay. And it's just, whatever you want to do. This is your world. <laughs> it's your world. It doesn't matter if you want to put on a green arm. If you want to do this, then you do that. It's all about what you want. He's no, he, what he, his voice is very um, hypnotic. I love watching Bob Ross. Is he still with us or has no, he passed on to the other side? On. He has passed oh. on. Um, but I do love the fact, you can still watch him on sort of like um, Freeview channels and things. Yes. Where they're replaying it. And it just makes me smile every single time. It's very ASMR, isn't it? He is. Boys, yes. And it's just, the way he explains stuff, it's just brilliant. Oh. I am of a generation who used to watch Paint Along with Nancy. Did you really? Yeah. Oh. It was, it, it, <laughs> There is a lot of laughter going on inside my ears. There is. Um, um, but I did. I'm, I'm sure our producer remembers Paint Along with Nancy. Do you, do you remember? He does, yeah. yeah In fact, I think he probably filmed it. Um, so Paint Along... Uh, yeah. Probably. Paint Along with Nancy was what it says. So she was an artist called Nancy. And mm -hmm. um, she had a lovely studio. Did she, did she sing like As Long As He Needs Me? No, she never did. Oh. She was lovely. Um, she would like say, so today we're going to paint... We're going to paint a scene. Um, and she would tell you to do it bit by bit. OK. Yeah. So uh, while you were painting your Nancy, yeah, were there many things that you had to paint, or was it just one thing? No, she would, it would be a different thing every week. All right. Yeah. So she'd kind of like go, uh, right, so this week we're going to paint um, uh, a, a, a scenery scene. A scenery, scenery scene. scene. Oh, yeah. it's always nice when to paint a scenery scene. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, and I also was of the um, Tony Hart generation. All right. Heartbeat. It just means nothing to you, Heartbeat. does this? That's that heartbeat. Do, 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 do. No, not, the, the, not the quirky 60s police drama set so in the Yorkshire one. Dales. No. Yeah. He had Morph. The little plasticine dude. I, now, I know Morph. I'm aware of Morph's work. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He, and he used to like do all the like, he was like a kids program and mm. he would um, um, like guide you through step by step making um, a lovely picture. And then he used to have the wall, didn't he? He did, the gallery. Yeah. <gasps> and if you'd painted a really disturbing picture... Of your mum. Yeah. <laughs> um, what I found mummy and daddy doing last night. Special cuddles. Yeah. Um, you where, could send... it, where brother Timmy came from. <laughs> you could, you would send it in, and he would put it on in his gallery, and he'd have a really sort of do 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 do, like a seventies porn style music playing. Is it not? Dun 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 dun. Yeah, something like that. Um, and um, you would see your name up on it. I've got that in my head now. But were you, were you a, I would imagine you were more of an art attack. This is an art attack. No, I did. I, I wasn't really massively into art attack, to be fair. Were you not? No. Why? It just did. It, it was just impossible. It's like going, 
I'm going to show you how to make a, a xylophone out of cheese. And then, and then I'm going to go into a car park and unroll bin bags to make a pattern. Yeah, do you know, there's, just a, there's been a rumour going round that Neil Buchanan... Was Banksy. Was he Banksy. Is, he has fervently denied it. Oh, yeah. Because uh, none of the artwork was made out of giant bin bags. Exactly. Or all, all, all pasta made into a yeah. chocolate teapot or something. Yeah. Um, what, what was the BBC version of that era? Was it was it Smart? There was so there was Smart. Yeah. Yes. Um, on on the Beeb and there was, there was lots of different things like that, though, weren't there? There was always the, the, the kind of the Blue Peter make it that you had to. Um, Oh, I need I need a different oh, I need a different brush. Um, where you they kind of like said, oh, this week we're going to make um, you know a caravan for four using toilet rolls. And they kept collecting mint bottle tops and things in Blue Peter. Always yeah. confused me. Why are they collecting? I don't milk know. Bottle tops? Was it the currency back in the eighties? I, I don't know. I was only born midway through them. Keep forgetting I'm considerably younger than you. <laughs> Is that, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling slightly with my tomato sauce paint. Are you? It's not particularly. Um, it's not particularly very strong. Right, brushes down, Lee. Oh no! Can I just just no, do just no. do the legs? This is like Bake Off. No. <laughs> mean. Um, <laughs> Paul Hollywood but there's would so be much more I want to do. There's so much more we could be doing with our lives, Lee. <laughs> oh, um, okay. Right. So, um, how, what would you like? How... So I, I, shall go, I shall show mine first. Okay. That's clearly a drug-addled nightmare. No, not quite. No, not quite. Not quite. Did, did you like my impressions? Of what? Of Bob Ross. Yes? Yes, okay, because that was part of it. Okay. Okay. So, Paul actually told me to do... Okay. <laughs> um, I'd like you to depict the truth about lip fillers. Oh. With a combination of genres, Beatnik and Bob Ross. Oh! So that's why I was doing my Bob Ross. What is Bob the truth Ross? about lip fillers, Mike? Um That if you put too many in your face, your lip will explode. Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Have we, have we? Have you any idea what that is? So, a, a depiction of the biscuit game. No. 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 Okay. <laughs> it is. It is. So, it is quite clearly. It's two big glitter balls, okay. surrounded by phallic-shaped glow sticks, in honour of Kylie's new album, Disco. Anyway, <laughs> that is that. That was my picture. Okay. I think they're quite. I think both quite successful. And you can lick it. <laughs> That brings us to the end of this week's show. Just enough time to say you can find us on your social media platforms. Just look for The Cud TV. And if you want our website, that's thecud.tv. And while you're on our website, why not look at the support section, which has extra content, including outtakes. And we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye.